Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited about today's video because it is a spring makeup tutorial, which means that it is finally spring, which is probably my favorite season. Not sure about that, but it's definitely my favorite season in terms of weather. I experimented with a little bit of color today, which is really exciting because I don't usually use pink as eyeshadow, but I did use a little bit of pink today and purple because that just seems like quintessential spring to me. Pretty much everything that I used is from the drugstore. I think there's like two items which aren't from the drugstore, but I did my very best to make absolutely everything from the drugstore. Okay, so I am doing this tutorial as a voiceover because I find that I am less rambly this way. So I'm starting with no makeup and I'm using my CoverGirl Nature Lux foundation. This has SPF 10 in it. And I really love using it during the summer because it's just, it just, it feels really nice and light on the skin. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. So I mostly use this under my eyes and around my nose and just to conceal any blemishes or redness I may have. And then usually I just use my fingers to blend this in. I'm now going in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, whenever I'm using eyeshadow, I use this just to prime my lids. It gives you a nice base color and it also makes your eyeshadow last all day. I'm now going in with my blush. This is Bourjois Pig by NYX. It's a powder blush. It's a very nice light color. And I've been wearing it a lot lately because it makes me think of spring. And now I'm going in with my NYC bronzer in Sunny. This is a big cult favorite. Um, I don't actually love it, but I was trying it out again for the first time in quite a while. And I think I will try using it again in the summer, but right now my skin is a bit too light. So I would recommend going in either with no bronzer at all, or maybe one that's a bit lighter, because this is a light spring tutorial. Now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blast Primer and Shadow. And I'm using this all over my eyelids, as well as a highlight on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and a tiny bit on the tip of my nose. This is a really nice, light, shimmery color, and it's very creamy and easy to blend. Now I'm going back in with the NYX powder blush that I used earlier and I am using it as an eyeshadow so I'm applying it in my crease. I think that my makeup brush had a little bit of color on it before because it's turning up kind of brown but it actually works out okay. Uh, it made it a little bit darker. But yeah, I'm just using it in my crease and a little bit on my lid and under my eye. I don't usually use pink as eyeshadow, but I actually think that it looks really nice with my eye color, which is green. Now I'm going in with my Annabelle eyebrow pencil. This is almost done, so this is actually my second pencil of this, so I will be needing to get a new one soon. Next up, I am using this Revlon Photo Ready Kajal, Kajal uh, eyeliner, and one side is purple and one side is sort of like white slash cream colored. So I use the cream colored side 
on my inner corner and then I'm using the purple along my upper lash line and then I'm using my finger just to blend it out a little bit because I didn't want it as a straight line. I wanted it to look more blended and just a little bit more natural and less harsh. Now I am of course curling my eyelashes with my Shiseido eyelash curler. And I'm going in and doing it twice because I find that the curl lasts a lot longer this way. And just admiring the way that it looks after I curl it because it makes such a huge difference. Now I'm using a CoverGirl mascara. I'm not sure what this one is called. I think it's just the professional one. It's not very intense at all, it's not clumpy, it's just, I find that it's good when I don't want too intense lashes. I am, however, doing two coats because that's just how I do my makeup. And now I'm going in with my new favorite lip liner, which is from... NYX as well, and this is called Peekaboo Neutral. I find that it's the perfect color for my lips. It makes them look just a little bit creamier, a little bit bigger, and mattifies them. Finishing off my mascara by going in behind the lashes, coat them on both sides, and that is it. This is the final makeup look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button down below. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye bye. I have 30 seconds left. Wow, you really don't realize how short you have to. Yes, you try to do something. I think it's kind of fun. Oh, this is the last step that I was planning to do.